Hello, my friends. Alex Jones here reporting for the InfoWars Insider. And if you've been uh, forwarded this email or this video, you can subscribe for free at the top right-hand corner of InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Just put your email in and you'll get breaking news alerts, exclusive videos, uh, detailed uh, text articles by great folks like Kurt Nemo at the InfoWars Insider. Uh, and uh, this video we are putting out, basically I have the idea to do it right now, spontaneously like we normally do, uh, because we're already in here talking about how crazy it is, how surreal to see this new council of 13, six House members, six Senate members, and the president with the veto saying now spending bills, cutting bills, which is the heart of Congress's power of the purse, will not be run by the general House or Senate, but by the president and this committee, so it's literally a, a council of 13, extremely uh, cryptic, and how this integrates with the larger uh, power grabs we've seen throughout history, and how it integrates with the, the train of um, centralization of power that we've been uh, watching unfold. And we've talked about it ad nauseum, how dangerous it is, Obama launching wars uh, without congressional approval and telling Congress basically to go to hell. Uh, we've also got the carbon taxes without congressional approval. We've got the ATF telling gun shops to do things that aren't under law and saying we don't need laws anymore. Uh, the list just goes on and on. The, the, the TSA with the hands down the pants violating the Fourth Amendment and privacy and also their jurisdiction. Uh, the wiretapping without warrants. I mean, this is a full-on real tyranny. And it's time for folks to realize that it's just getting started. Uh, they've now reached the critical flashpoint. Uh, but I wanted to talk to Kurt and Aaron Dykes, uh, who are here with us. Uh, just briefly, uh, Kurt, I mean, it's what is it like for you watching this progression and then now seeing everything we warned of coming true and knowing that the even more horrible stuff is a guarantee if people really don't get upset and angry and realize that these are brazen uh, tyrants. These are criminals. These are organized uh, hordes of people coming to literally uh, turn us over to complete slavery. You know, it's a total nightmare. It's the total abrogation of the Constitution. Uh, Obama and these, this Council of 12 and 13, with him now being the, the grand poobah of the whole thing, is basically what we predicted for years, that they're going to totally destroy the Constitution and override the, 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 uh, the Congress's ability to, to follow the Constitution when it comes to ruling the country. I mean, this is, this is tyranny in its most naked and brazen form. First, they take the power away from the states and take the senators from the states with, with the 17th Amendment. They were elected by the state representatives, uh, so the states really had the power. And, and, and then it migrates to Washington, and then it migrates into the committees, and then the committees go and twist arms of the House and Senate to sign their authority over, kind of like they did back in the mid-90s on trade to the World Trade Organization. But, but it's, just, it's, just, it's just accelerating. I mean, that's the word here. And it's happening because they've now bankrupted the country by design or bringing us into receivership, and they're worried. Aaron? Yeah, I mean, we don't need this efficient government. That's what communism is. That's what dictatorships are, is councils that can quickly get legislation passed. It's bad enough we went from this point where... And in history, they quickly screw you and enslave you. Oh, of course, they're very good at it. And, you know, any cheap third world dictatorship, they'll have laws explaining why you're slaves at very fine detailed points. We need buffers from government, we need separations because everybody wants that power. And it's even worse because they're working for higher up people, they're just rep Obama people, they don't want the power for themselves, they're doing it for the system. Uh, but it's bad enough we went from having 2,000 pages of legislation they wouldn't even read that they vote on anyway because they're bought out now. They don't even get to put the legislation forward. They just get to fast track it, as you were saying, just as they've done with trade. And that's completely ruined our manufacturing base. Now the whole country is going to be just legally undone. And people keep saying, oh, they're screw-ups. Everything they you know, d d uh, engage in destroys us. Well, that's, that's their policy. That's their stated command destruction economy. Oh, there's, the housing prices are going down? We'll just destroy millions of houses. Uh, I mean, destroy real wealth. Uh, this is the system. Kurt? Well, the only reason they're able to do this is they have the full complicity of the corporate media. Uh, the American people don't really have any clue, or a large amount of people don't have any clue why this is happening or how it's happening. 
they need to go to the alternative media like Infowars.com to find out what's going on. I mean, we're basically the only ones out there doing this. And again, it's not that we're rocket scientists. Gee, they've slowly taken congressional power over war and transferred it to the president. Now they're just saying, we don't need a Congress. And Congress says, hey, we're warmongers too. Just come to us for authorization. And Obama says, yeah, shut up. I've got UN authorization for its greater Gloria. What was the term he used for its credibility? So uh, th they're doing this on purpose. They're setting precedents. And to have a council of 13 just out in the open, uh, and it gets almost no attention. This is how liberty dies, not with a bang, but with a whimper. Aaron, any closing comments? It's just incredible. Uh, the Constitution was set up for a reason to try to stop. It was all about trying to put brakes on the grab for power. Uh, but it's just been handed over to them. It's disgusting, and we have to try to turn it around, even now that it's been passed. Absolutely, because we don't have a choice, folks. You, you think it's bad now? You think as soon as the Constitution, Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence began being trampled, you know, things have gotten bad so far? The oxygen's leaving the room. It's going to get worse from here on out. They're always trying to blame the Constitution. This, that's what's holding things up in Time Magazine and Newsweek a month ago, and, and saying, get rid of it. Notice, now they are. So, so they're actually selling why this is good. But you notice the more and more they get away from it, the more and more we go into poverty, the more and more police brutality and tyranny and surveillance we live under. Now, the reason we're doing these InfoWars uh, insider reports is studying Internet censorship globally, Internet kill switches, and attacks on websites and URLs uh, that are happening via the government, the seizure of sites and things. Uh, I can always, with a giant email list, even if they shut down almost everything we've got, get to a data port somewhere and reach out to hundreds of thousands or in the future, hopefully millions of our listeners that have signed up at the uh, InfoWars Insider. So you're going to get valuable videos, key intel, news articles, exclusive info, and so much more while it's being used as a news conduit, but it's also a, 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 a information warfare backup line um, you know, that we'll have so we can stay in contact with you. So please take this email that you got this um, video from and forward it to everybody you know. Uh, after it goes out on the InfoWars Insider tomorrow with the text report Kurt's doing, um, we're also going to post this to the YouTube channel after it's gone out there first. Uh, we're also going to start an InfoWars Insider site where the older articles and things are posted. That's a big priority, Kurt. I know you're busting your butt. We're working on getting some more writers hired right now, and, and it's really going through growing pains because we always have our own duties. I was working till 2 last night. The guys were here till 2. I've had to tell folks, let's just go home early today. We, you know, we're doing too much work. I work from home. Shot six videos. And we need to see the same energy from the public because nothing can stop the people if they just start taking action. Uh, but anyways, I'm done talking about that. Great job, guys. And... Uh, We'll see all of you out here in cyberspace on the Infowar and in the streets uh, waking folks up as well. Thank you for watching.